Hello and welcome to another lecture on signals and systems. Today we'll be looking at linear systems. Since linear time invariant systems make the analysis in signals and systems quite easy, so today's lecture will be focusing on linearity and time invariance we'll look at in another lecture. A system can be described as linear if it obeys homogeneity and the principle of superposition. Homogeneity implies that if I have an input x of t, which leads to an output y1 of t, then if I multiply this input with a constant alpha, then alpha times x1 of t should lead to an output alpha times y1 of t. And what follows from homogeneity is that if alpha equals to zero, then zero input should lead to zero output. This comes from homogeneity, that if the input vanishes, then necessarily the output should also vanish. On the other hand, superposition says that if I have an input x1 of t, which leads to an output y1 of t, and then I have an input x2 of t, which leads to an output y2 of t, then when I apply x1 of t and x2 of t together, then the response of the system should be equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t. And if we combine these both principles, that is, we say that x1 of t and x2 of t lead to y1 of t and y2 of t, then combining homogeneity and superposition, we can write that alpha times x1 of t plus beta times another constant, which is multiplied with x2 of t, should lead to an output, which is alpha times the response of the system to the first input, y1 of t plus beta times y2 of t and a system which conforms to this condition of homogeneity and superposition is called a linear a linear system so what constitutes a linear system a simple resistive network like this is an example of a linear system because, because the voltage and current follow a linear relation, that is when current goes to zero, the voltage across the resistor also becomes zero. An example of a non-linear system is a capacitor which is already holding some charge Vc of zero minus, that is it has memory. So if I write the relation of the current the capacitor is given by C dVc by dt and if I write Vc of t this would be 1 over C integral 0 to t minus. Because of this initial charge which the capacitor is holding it does not obey the principle of homogeneity that is if there is no current, the output voltage is not zero. It is of the form y is equal to mx plus c, where if x goes to zero, y is still equal to c. So this, as you all know, represents a linear equation, but this is not a linear system. Whenever you are not sure whether a system is linear or not, you have to go back to the definition 
and check if the system conforms to the principles of homogeneity and superposition and then you can characterize it as a linear system. So that's it for today. See you in another lecture.